That's a young buck over here too. There's a lot of deer out here, right over in this section. It's interesting. It's a young buck right there, you see him? He's only like 20 yards away. Hey, buddy. You're okay. Sorry. I mean to drag my foot across that. It's alright. I'm making a lot of noise, I know. Pretty dark out here. That's what it looks like <laughs> for the most part. I got this fire going pretty good right now. It's, uh, it's only going to die out a little, but I'm going to let it because it's still so early. Alright, let me get this. Uh, I gotta zoom in a little bit to get the flesh to come on. I don't want to really get the flashlight out and going yet. I've been trying not to. I'm trying not to use it too much. So that way. That way I have something for later. If this fire goes out, well, when it goes out, I should say. I'll have something. I leave a, oh, there's one piece left over. I'll use it. Use anything. Okay, long legs. Anything. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at it going. I got a light on in the tent, but it usually looks a lot better. So what I do is I get these like dollar headlamps from uh, like Walmart, for instance, and then I hang them from the top of the tent. That way, when you go in, you, you put if you put one on each side, no matter where you wake up in the middle of the night, if for some reason it's pitch black or you don't have a fire going, um, you just reach up. No matter where you are in there, you know you just reach up and you'll find something. And that's a plus. This is how much wood I have. Out of everything we had earlier, I brought so much stuff. I had to get more. I had to get two bundles of wood. And there's like four pieces left. Unreal. I do start it pretty damn early. Uh, usually for a good reason. Um, bugs. will help. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. So I don't know what I'm making this video for yet. This is just one of them little logs that like goes for like three hours. So it says. Um, all I did was just light the bag. And uh, it's been going. Uh, 
Let me see what time is it. Yeah, it's been going for almost three now. So even if it goes out right now, it did what it said it was going to do. All right, let's go on. That can't be the North Star. What is that? Turn this off. I gotta turn this flash off. What is that? Looks like it has lights. Never mind. Now you can see, uh, you see a little bit of flash. And that means FAA lights, right? Um, so you always want to wait for it as far as you can and see it from different angles. Because straight on, initially it, it could look like the a headlight on the front could look like it's just a solid color these spider webs are crazy i'm just walking around in the dark by myself When you hear what sounds like a crackling fire, and you're and you're like really far away from the fire, metal poles, there's some wood. These people got desperate. Look how cool that looks from here. It looks so amazing. Oh, what I'm doing is dragging some big fucking wood just in case I need it. God forbid. Hopefully, I don't have to resort to that. I have to be a little zoomed in, otherwise the flash don't. Maybe I'll make a few videos throughout the night and see how it goes. For now, it's still early. It's not even 10. Well, it is just turned 10, probably. And uh, I'll piece them all together or some, something like that. It's like a, I learned this new trick. It's not quite editing. <laughs> not quite. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, relax. I gotta conserve this battery. So, once once things get real super quiet in here, I'm already seeing what looks like orbs uh, occasionally. What the hell was that? I'm seeing what looks like orbs occasionally out in the distance. There should be nothing in those directions out there. Unless a car goes down that back road. 
but I rarely see them. And I'm making sure it's not a lightning bug because that's a possibility too, right? But they, uh, <laughs> whoa, I think that fell from straight up. Let's find out what was it. Can we see? Too much crap out here. Something else just landed there too, so. It's probably falling. I hope stuff doesn't fall all night, because it's gonna just, whoa. Those leaves, even though they were, some of them were green. Still got some action off them. All right, guys, these bugs are wild. They're coming right at the flash, so. I'm gonna go take a break. And I'll catch up with you soon. If it does end up being a, a video where I piece them together, to you it'll seem like this. <laughs> what was that? This is, there's a dot on my screen right here, and it only shows up when... That's really odd. It's really odd. It's showing up on my side. You guys won't see it. Really cool, though. I wonder what it's used for. I gotta find out. Alright, now, peace. All right, guys, I left my truck running. This is a hunting area, permit only. There's no parking anywhere, anywhere. So except for the little one tiny spot where. Where you gotta have a hunting permit. So it's a hunting area, but this was by far one of the best places I've ever been. I have to keep an eye back, like, because they have every right. All right. It's not a... There's not going to be many cars that come down here. There's literally a dozen signs. This is where the burlap sack Bigfoot was stored. That video, remember that? areas it is so thick in here right now so I want to try and get a permit like I said it last time and I don't know how to do it but that way I can just spend time out here without having any issues. It's too thick. It's overgrown. Wow, look at that. Wait, I lost track there. To Look at that. Look at that. Do you see what I see or no? I can't. I don't want to jump to conclusions right off the bat, but that is the general direction of where I had the... original encounter. Hey, butterfly. Someone just went through there. It looked white. Could have been a bird, like a big bird. Flocking by. I wish I could show you more. So this goes into a huge open field, which is why it's a good hunting area. Because it's such so thick and lush back here, and then it's got this huge open field. And you can go and post up anywhere around it, anywhere you'd like. So you have all these sections that go in. 
and then there's another section over there and another section over there and they're all fenced off so you, you know your boundaries um i gotta get out of here unfortunately this is one of those places i could literally just i could go a couple hundred yards in and just stay all day A little, little bit off trail. This way. Not that it's a trail. It's like a little driveway. I imagine you can drive all the way in. They probably give you a key or something. And then... Whoa! It's twice. kind of shit freaks me out. There's definitely deer coming through here, look. Hello, my friends. You remember me? Yeah, you gotta understand, it's very possible as well that there's a hunter out here somewhere. They could have a permit and they could have drove in somewhere and just, be, you could be posted up. What is that? It's deer. It's loud, it's gotta be a deer. Yep, one, two. Yep. I don't blame them for running. Not here. I ended up coming up this way anyway. I bet you there's more laid down in there. They're like whispering to each other. I really, look at this setup here. I really wanted to find the, the burlap spot, but I, I don't know if it still exists. This is actually nice in here. Look at this, look at this setup. For those of you who know, I'm sure you can see what's going on here. Right? I'm sure you can see this. This is a blind built by design on purpose. Which leads me to believe there's a barrel. That that used to be a fence line. Maybe they expanded it. That leads me to believe they don't want humans to see what's back here. Which is fine. Everyone's entitled to their privacy. Yeah. Trying to get it in between, at least. All right. 
Let's get out of here. I'm probably collecting. And look at this crossed over. You'll hear a lot of people say that this is termites that do this. It's bullshit, in my opinion. Look at these glyphs. Look at these glyphs in writing. It's like hieroglyphics. Look at that one. Why? Because scientists told us that, that termites do this shit. I mean, look at that. I get that they chew on wood and they go straight up and down and this and that and zig and zag, but that, that ain't what I see there. Especially how it's laid right across the only opening. I guarantee you that's like, that means quite a bit. I have one at the house that they let me keep. All right, well, here's the sand. Look at that, clear as day deer print. All right, my truck's back that way. It could get turned around in a second. A second. All right, give me a minute. All right, so I wanted to take some time off camera and really just connect to this area and let them know that I have full intent on coming back and that. I uh, was very thoroughly impressed last time and appreciate us them letting us in this time. And, uh, yeah. I know they deal, they see probably quite a bit uh, from hunters. I'm sure they probably, I'd imagine they like to watch to see how we, how we hunt and how much primal instinct we still have left. You know, hunting isn't a bad thing at all, right? People got to eat. We're so far removed that when we go to the store and buy turkey or hamburgers or chicken or whatever it may be, a venison burger, like, we're so far removed, some of us, that we don't, myself included, we don't really think about how that came to be. But then... The same individual would turn around and judge a hunter. Alright, let me stare at my mug. I just wanted to do an over the shoulder. So, as long as people are doing it right, you can actually get more out of it, right? Because... Towing. Towing vehicles, see? Um, I don't know if that's what it was, but there's definitely tow trucks out here. In the middle of nowhere, there's tow trucks. Look at how perfectly aligned these trees are. You have to wonder, were they planted there? Were they planted for this location? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Look how long ago that would have been. These are huge. Another game trail going right through here. All right, my friends, I'm now at the exit. There's actually a good amount of cars whipping by. I left it running so that way I could just play dumb. If somebody came, I was just gonna play stupid and be like, oh, I'm so sorry, like, I'm not from around here. I had to go to the bathroom, you know, something like that. And I didn't want to do it next to the road, you know, so. Something like that. Think about it when you got to. But anyway, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, see you on the next one. All right, guys, so I'm at Bubba's. I'm on this side. I don't usually come in on this side, but I'm trying to get some footage and he doesn't want me to film on the other side, so. I'm coming in over here where the mountain bikers come in at. So I can actually get a little bit of footage from here, <clears throat> at least. As we know, this area is by far produces the best. So we're 
we're gonna go in a little ways. Not too much, that's interesting. I'm not gonna go and spend too much time here. I just wanna get a little warm up, get a little footage, and then get in with him before, before it heats up outside too much. Oddly enough, it's <coughs> it smells like chlorine in here. Couple of squirrels. That's one of my favorites right there. The two. Two upside down. Huge pieces just laying right next to each other. And then they both tuning fork out. See, at the bottom. Camping with Sasquatch. Look at this arch, buddy. I know you love these. I do too. They're actually definitely my favorite. So, if you get a good look at it, I mean, mind you, the road is, it doesn't matter. The road's right there. I say this all the time, just because we slap a street, just because we slap a street in the middle of the woods doesn't mean that uh, things change. You'll always hear people refer to the question of why would Sasquatch be near people? Um, first of all, Most people don't know they're there, and then most people don't, and then even the people who do, most of them don't understand it anyway. So what's the bother? What's the bother? I might just jump trail and go straight across. Here's another huge bend right here. Look at that one. It's being held down starts over here and comes up tucks back under it's being held gotta love it All right, we're gonna we're gonna be respectful and just go the long way around Like I said, this is just going to be a little short walk inwards. I haven't gotten any, like, kickback about the camera being out, so hopefully, I'm really, really hoping that it's not an issue. It's a non-issue. Plus, I got a phone call to make in about 15, 20 minutes, so. Okay. Look at this, this was a beautiful structure, I'm sure. 
snap tree comes down. Look at all the cut wood over here too. All this stuff. I would love to move over here. This is one of the more expensive neighborhoods. Sounds like something's right there. Like there's something literally right there. I'm just gonna go right where I heard it, right there. Still hear it. Look at this. Look at this just laid here, right? I, I was like, that's kind of out of place. So I follow it up. Look at that tree over there. It comes up and it bends all the way down and tucks. Look at, it's tucked here. That's where it ends. So it's coming from there and coming all the way up, down, through here, and then back around. And this is what's holding it down. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. Look at this. A lot of people would miss this too. Boom, 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 boom. It's being groomed. See? You see how this is being is right here? At the very edge of this, at the last branch, it's it's holding it down. Look grooming it to come all the way down that tree is over here starts on trail two and it comes up and look at it it's just laid right in there to groom it to come down eventually this is going to be a bending to bing soon enough i love it love it Big impressions in here. There are, uh, there's a healthy deer population. There are some houses right on the outskirts. So can't rule out that people don't come from their property and, you know, in and out directly. Can't rule that out. <clears throat> I know that's what I would do. I wouldn't walk all the way around. I would just jump my fence or you know, build an opening and just come straight through to the trail. Oh, here's that. <laughs> the old swing set or whatever. Somebody went out of their way to hang a bike up there. There's some trails over there that go down towards a farm, a horse farm down there. We'll see what happens. Here, look at this on a minor scale. Follow it down. It's being held up, tucked under.
so many of them, I'm not going to point them all out. I was going to... I was thinking about pulling up that bottle that's buried there somehow. I mean, that thing is really under the ground. I don't know how it would get under there like that. Over all the... It would take a lot of time for that to happen. And it didn't break somehow. It just looks like a Bud Light bottle or a Budweiser bottle or something. I don't know. I don't really drink beer, so... I'm not sure. This is nice. And this section, actually, this is pretty interesting because... This is where I got... this is over, Through these woods on the other side is where a lot of you guys were there. I uh, was live streaming back when I was... In the very beginning, I don't remember if it was Facebook or YouTube or what, but um, where I was gifted that staff with the, it looks like there's a skull on top. Shit. A lot of movement. A lot of movement. All at once. One big move over here. much bigger move over there first what I was saying originally was this is kind of cool because here you can actually see far in most places you can't it's just too thick And look at that, like what is that? I don't usually go over to these things, but as long as I've been coming here, I don't think I've ever approached it. trail we were on goes up there and comes back so we'll just look at these vines there's pipe coming through here too which is odd very odd it doesn't go far it stops there I doubt it's active I don't know if some of these vines come across as big as they are on camera, but massive, the knotted ones, I love that. It looks like it's been filled in with cement. Thomas. Yeah, I gotta get up. I gotta get up out of here, guys. Some nice roots. It's big. I gotta get up out of here and make a call. And, uh, and I'll come back. I might, I don't know if I'm gonna go deeper in, like on foot, or uh, I'm gonna try to come in from a different angle. 
because basically what happens is if I go all the way, if I go all the way in on foot, um, this side is designed for mountain bikers, so it goes really far, because obviously you can just ride your ass back out, right? No big deal, but if you're on foot, it's a hell of a ways off. I'm going to cut out this way, this little made-up trail. This is a game trail. It's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. All right. Well, whether I film more or not, <clears throat> um, Whether I feel more or not, I'll uh, I'll post this either together or separately, but I'll see how it goes. Still sitting on some other footage that I need to. A lot of times when we come here at night, this is where I'll come in at is this trail, so you guys see it in the daytime. This is the one we usually take in and out. see why we usually hear quite a bit and I'm like I can't tell what's what <laughs> can't tell what's in there it's just thick it's not like this it's only like this in the spring and summer it gets real thin this stuff thins right out anyways appreciate you guys thank you for being here um, this video is either gonna end or continue right about now Thank you.